Hello, welcome back to Soul School. I'm Thielin. Welcome to another Signs and Wonders. Here's a brief overview of some astrological and angelic information that could help you along your way. It would be great if you could get yourself a chart for your time and date and place of birth. I recommend going to astro-seek.com on the net because that's a very excellent uh, website for finding out a chart if you haven't got uh, your own program on your own computer. So see if you can find out those three things, right? And then you can find out which archangels are most influential for you. And in particular, if you can find out the ascending sign, you can find out what is called the Lord of the Nativity, right? The planet which rules the rising sign. Now, there are seven traditional heavenly bodies, and one of those will be the Lord of your nativity, depending what sign was rising when you were born. For example, Sagittarius was rising when I was born. The Lord of my nativity is Jupiter, because Jupiter rules Sagittarius. If I'd been born with Pisces rising, Jupiter would also have been Lord of the Nativity because Jupiter has two signs. So very quickly, here's a rundown. Saturn rules Capricorn and Aquarius. If you're born with one of those rising, Saturn will be Lord of your Nativity. Mercury governs two signs, Virgo and Gemini. Venus rules two signs, that will be Taurus and Libra. Uh, who haven't I said yet? Oh, Mars. Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. The Sun only rules one sign, that's Leo. And the Moon also rules one sign, that's Cancer. So now you could find out the Lord of your nativity. Furthermore, all those lords are associated with archangels. So, running back, Jupiter is associated with Zadkiel. Saturn is associated with Samael. Venus is associated with Raphael. Mercury is associated with Gabriel. Mars with Haniel. The moon with Oriel. And the sun with Michael. So when you find out the Lord of your nativity, because you know the time you were born, you will know which archangel will play a powerful part in your spiritual journey. And I want you to know that the planetary gods and the archangels are not exterior potent forces of some kind who will have an effect on you. They are archetypes within your inner kingdom and that means that you can consult with them and have conversations with them. For example, if things aren't going your way financially and you've got Libra rising and Venus or Raphael is the uh, Lord, actually the Lady, of the Ascendant, then you can have an inner conversation with Raphael and ask for advice. So this is all about inner work. It's not about expecting those jolly old angels just up there in the heavens to do things for you, to come, come and 
spread their blessings or something. It's about taking charge of that quality which is innate in you because of the time and the place where you were born. Because you've come into this life with a kind of program, but the program isn't fixed so tightly that you've got no wiggle room. The program is there for you to work with. It's not going to be that you're like um, like a puppet on a string. So take that on board. And the, the way to really get to do this inner work at a profoundly effective way, which will make a difference in life, is to have a good meditation technique. So take up my free offer of learning the Schaefer method, which is more than meditation, because it teaches you how to get in, get deep, get open the doors to heaven, and then it teaches you how to negotiate with the heavenly beings to bring stuff out into the world. So that's why the Schaefer method is more than meditation. It has a double function. It puts you in the driving seat and then it shows you how to pull the levers. Many blessings. Keep shining.